Happy Wednesday, team. It's Olympic lifting day. We're power clean and jerking. Every two minutes for four sets, we've got clean and jerks going from 67 all the way to 82%. So it's gonna be 67, 72, 74, and then the last set will be between 78 and 82%. So like eight-ish out of 10 difficulty. It's gonna be two plus twos. So it's gonna be two power cleans plus two push jerks. The last set is gonna be a two plus one, two power cleans plus one push jerk. Uh, afterwards, we've got three sets of 20 slash 16 cow bike, 200 meter run with a one minute rest in between each. This Metcon is gonna have a running clock. It's gonna be a 20 minute cap total. After that last round of bike and run, you're gonna get a two minute rest. All of this rest is included in the time. <laughs> then it's three rounds of 10 chest bar pull-ups and 50 double unders. It's a lot of work. It's gonna be grippy with that bike, with the chest bar, with the dubs, so your shoulders will be a little smoked. My recommendation here is uh, pick a number on the chest of R that you know you can make every time and just do that. Don't shoot for the 10 and then have to do singles round two. You wanna stay consistent on those rounds so you can stay under that time cap. With the power clean and jerk, one of the things I wanna talk about is your receiving position. So, from our pull, from here, a lot of times I see someone here, we're not fully hip extended yet. We're here and our arms are already bending, that early arm bend. The saying goes, when the arm bends, the power ends. We want all of the power from that hip extension to come up. So here, I'm still here shrugging and then pulling under the bar. That receiving position, I then have my feet come back together. Now I'm set for my jerk. I wanna go a little lower than normal. I should be able to almost squat. So it's a dip and drive and punch under. Hold that position just for a moment, because this is practice reps. This is 80% max. We're starting at 67. We should be able to do it in slow-mo or pause holds. So dip drive, punch, hold. My feet move out. I have to make space. I have to get underneath it. So just make sure as we pull from the ground, we're fully extending, speed it up to the middle, boom, get underneath it, and then hold that jerk. Great opportunity for us to work on technique work. All right, really fantastic. For the chest of bars, grip a little wider than normal because if we're gripping narrow, we have all of this lever that we have to work with. If we're gripping wider on the chest of bar, we shorten the range of motion and make it easier to make collarbone or chest contact. So let's think about all these little technical aspects as we're going through it. The finisher today, two rounds, 15 GHE back extensions. If you find there's only one or two GHC is available at the gym and there's too many people in class, you can do a Superman hold. So you can get on the floor and one for one rep, rep wise. All right. After that, 10 sandbag good mornings. Really great for lower back strength, especially after this last open workout. All those dumbbell snatches, all those burpees, lower back probably got lit up. This is going to help keep it strong. All right. See you tomorrow.